Is it Rosie O'Donnell? No. Oh. <laughs> and I don't mean any disrespect. I don't know what you were going to say. I don't but, know why that tickled me. But. Well, because Donald Trump ran her through the ringer at some point. He was talking about well, smack Trump about her. Well, Donald Trump knows this lady pretty well. He oh. Likes, actually, he likes her as a friend, I'm sure. Okay. So we're on to something here. Mm-hmm. Is she a sitting member of Congress or Senate? No. Um, she tried to be. She wanted to be. But they, but couldn't, they couldn't make it happen. This is where I needed Paul for that sound drop. She was a loser. Loser. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> she ran for uh, Florida's 21st Congressional District in 2020. And lost. That was not the on go. And then cried. And then she cried about it. Really? So do you think I probably know who this is? This was around the time. We are losing our country to big tech election interference. This was around the same time that Jeffrey Tubin did his thing. It was Yerkin. Yeah. November 2020. Yeah. And they have the same birthday. Wow. Okay. Now, do you think that I did? Who is this? would, Would be my question, I guess. Yeah, I've seen her. She's like a far right lady. She doesn't like Muslims. She's kind of a conspiracy theorist. You won't see her online. You won't see her on much social media. Did she get did she quit social media? She was silenced. Have you ever been kicked off a platform, Jackie? I got kicked out of a Melvin's group for posting a picture oh, yeah. of a fern. That looked like Buzzo's hair. They said no hair posting. So. Wow. Uh, sh- That's so fucking lame. <laughs> I know. It was cool. <laughs> Come on. I uh, thought those Melvin's, people suck. I thought Melvin's fans were supposed to be libertarians. Post what you want. Mm-mm. And you can post no, what you want at, on uh, reddit.com slash r slash hbdpod. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Because there's not a lot of activity on there. Oh. And Jackie is soaking her eggs in soda. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for fertility. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Carbonation. Uh, oh, God, who is this? I, 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 listeners already know by now. She a- was a COVID denier, and then she got COVID. She said, I've been sicker from bad fajitas. And then she got COVID. She said, I'm so sick, you guys. I love those I don't people. feel good. Oh, God. She's, she's, um, she's oh. Trump's biggest fan, self-proclaimed. It's not Marjorie Taylor Greene. No, this bitch actually she hates won. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she's which from is funny. Georgia. Uh, Why am I bit, not getting uh, that? Bad built butch body. Yeah, butch that bun. whole thing was far <laughs> out. That was far right and far out. <laughs> Yeah. This lady's um, got like big lip fillers. She used to be blonde, but now she's dark brunette. She's got like bad cheeks. Oh, 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 oh
I have been banned on nearly every single social media site, making me the most banned woman in the entire world. Wow. Oh, big reaction from our live studio audience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> actually pretty badass. Definitely a, a unique accomplishment. Laura, in honor of your birthday, I did some digging, and I found a hilarious birthday anecdote that you shared about being in a... Uh, Burger King on your birthday and you were wearing a controversial t-shirt. What happened there? I don't know. All these old men came up to me who were sitting there reading the newspaper. I love your shirt, but I would be too scared to wear that. Aw, what did it say? Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. That exact thing happened oh. to me uh, in Scandia at a farm. Really? Anyway, I know you had some plans today um, for After the Pod to go and head down to the Four Seasons. Sounds like there's a big event there today. I'm hearing it might be a protest. That might be kind of dangerous for a birthday party, Laura. What kind of precautions are you taking and what should people know if they're headed down that way? People shouldn't be afraid to come out and rally and protest, you know? We're calling it a rally. Some people in the media are calling it a protest. It's really a rally in support of Antifa and defunding the police. That sounds amazing, Laura. Oh, wow, that did oh. sound amazing. What do you think your followers will think of this new, like, lifestyle that you've adopted, though? People would call me a terrorist. A terrorist? <laughs> that seems pretty excessive. Laura, I heard you're good at doing impressions. Can you do an impression of me asking people what they're doing for their birthday? But what are they doing? I want to know what people are actually going to do! <laughs> That's really good, actually. I can tell you've been rehearsing that. you. Um, can you do an impression of Josh finding a live snake in his kitchen? My life is ruined! <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, do one of Dan, where oh. someone holds a gun to his head and says, define Bolshevik. They're just trying to kill us. You want to know what they're trying to do. They want us dead. Okay, Laura. I don't want to blow your cover here, but I heard from an insider on your team that you are a glizzy guzzler. You eat hot dogs for almost every meal, and you eat a lot of them. It's not like I'm vicious in that sense, but a lot of people just can't handle my lifestyle, and I'm very busy. Busy is true, <laughs> because you know what they say, a busy girl is a glizzy girl. This is about civil rights. I understand that completely, because a woman's choice to lunch is nobody's business but her own. And what, <laughs> what would you suggest is a proper form of retaliation to those people who would try to take those rights away from us? Banning people on Facebook, banning people on Instagram, banning people on Twitter, censoring them, sending them to Facebook jail for a few hours. I honestly agree. Some of y'all need to put the phones down, go touch some grass. We don't want to hold you up from the uh, Antifa protest, so we, we'll we just let you go. But thank you so much for taking time out of your day. And uh, happy birthday. We'll see you next time. I love you guys, too. Wow. Thanks for stopping by, Laura. I think you'll be a, a welcome guest here anytime. And um, we're a little disappointed to see some of your the change in some of your policies and outlooks. But I do want to say happy birthday. And I want to say happy birthday to her. And I appreciated that segment, Jackie. I didn't appreciate the impression of me. And happy birthday, Laura Loomis. Loomis? Loom, uh, Lumer. 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 Lumen. Lumen.